Hello guys, sorry, uh, looking weird with the flipping light behind my head there, I don't know if you, yeah, sorry, I'm not going to blind you, that's very mean, I apologise. The uh, reason I'm making this video is I wanted to very quickly give a shout out to O21 Miniatures and their second uh, Heroines in Sensible Shoes Kickstarter. I've backed every single Kickstarter by these guys. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of their old models aren't available anymore due to uh, worn-out molds, but that, they have a new mold maker now who is fantastic, and all all the stuff that they've done since they started with him has been has come out excellently. Um, but basically, the idea behind the Sensible Shoes range is um, a line of sensibly armed and armoured female models. Like, I mean, they've got they've got an Albert there. I've showed you their previous Albert, uh, which was actually in one of my most recent videos. So there's another one. It's a little bit slimmer, a little bit more lithe or lithe or whatever the word is, but it's very nice, very very nice. Um, that's a mystery pledge. Uh, but there, here we go. We've got here some of the new male models um, and one of the females there. That's the um, NPC's pledge, so non-player character. And then here are all the heroines themselves. Um, you've got a paladin on the end there, a witch, or um, druid, a rogue, uh, an archer, I think the one with the staff crosser shoulders is a monk. Uh, you've got a half orc, shaman or hunter or whatever you want there. Uh, cleric, I think, is the original idea they went for. And a little gnome as well. I like, I really like this model actually. I love the work because, I mean, that scroll could be like a warding scroll, you know, to ward off demons, or it could be a wanted poster, someone raised in the, that idea in the comments, and I quite like that, quite like the idea of trying to freehand a face on there, even if it would be a nightmare, most likely, um, but yeah, basically these guys, uh, the, these out of sworn are trying to develop a few more sensibly dressed female models, since there are so few of them out there. I um, they've done one Kickstarter like this before. You can actually go to their website and buy the models from their previous Kickstarter if you want them. Um, you can see some of them here. They are absolutely fantastic. I can attest to their quality because I own every single one of these. I uh, you know I pretty much all but one I think of the Oathsworn uh, Kickstarters I've backed. I've backed all in. The only reason I didn't with the one was because I uh, got a pregnant lady there which is fun. Um, the only reason I didn't go all in with that one in particular is simply because I didn't have the money at the time but oh and we're back here. Um, ooh, no don't zoom in. There we go. Back out. There we are. Um, but yeah basically if you fancy having a few more ah, kind of comments that's not what I meant. <laughs> I meant to go on. If you fancy having a few more female models in your um, games, whether it be Warhammer or Frostgrave or whatever, and indeed a lot of these, if you have a look a lot of these are perfect for Frostgrave, I mean look at that guy that's a necromancer, well I mean it even says necromancer on the picture, but you know if you're playing a necromancer in Frostgrave perfect um, so, you know, and there's a noble woman NPC there which is quite cool, she's got a kind of weathered face, which I quite like you know, all of these are great for Frostgrave, and uh, yeah, and then you've got Warhammer, you've got things like Mordheim, basically whatever game you're playing, you will find a use for these, and I think we all share the pain of not being able to find any decent female models, you know, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I it annoys me that I can very rarely find any decent, or shall we say decently dressed female models. Um, because I just feel like that's unrealistic, it just bothers me, uh, you know, I, I like having reasonable, uh, a reasonable mix, and the, these models will allow me to do that, so yeah, if you like the look of what you see here, have a look on, um, on Kickstarter, uh, and see which ones you might want, the campaign's got, hang on, the campaign's got, where is it? campaign is obviously fully back uh, it's totally fully backed at the moment it's got five days to go so we've got a few days to wait maybe if you want to um, 
as I say, you can get all the models from the first one on their website now. So uh, if you just Google Earthworn Sensible Shoes or go to earthwornmanchester.co.uk, uh, you'll find them. Um, and then they also have a line of anthropomorphic uh, models. If you guys, if any of you guys are into that sort of thing, I've got all of these as well. I mean, that's probably the best one to show you to give you an idea of what these models are like. It's, I love that Air Warrior. It's fantastic. Uh, they've got a squirrel, rogue, shrew warrior. If you like anthrop anthropomorphic models, like uh, I think from things like Red Wall and stuff like that, then these are worth a look. They also have a game um, that they developed for these models called Burrows and Badgers, which is a fun little reference to Dungeon the Dragons. It's a drunk weasel there, he's good fun. Um, which you can also, I believe, sorry, I'm giving you a look at absolutely nothing there. Um, I believe you can also buy the, uh, sorry, he's in the camera by accident. There you go, you can also buy the raw book an actual printed copy of the raw book, which is lovely. So, yeah, if you like what you see, guys, give them a look, and uh, give them some money <laughs> if you feel like it, because uh, obviously, they're because uh, I'll, I'll be honest, I'd love to see these guys grow. I've been back in their projects for about three years, and they're fantastic. Some of the best scops I've ever seen. So, yeah, if you like what you see, guys, give them a back uh, on the new project, and maybe pick up some of their old stuff. Uh, just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know. Alright, cheers, bye.